Alright, this is the video tutorial on how to sign on to Infinite Aeon. Uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and open up, go to the Start menu, and Internet Explorer or Firefox. Uh, you'll need to navigate to the Infinite Aeon site, which is infiniteaeon.com. Uh, go ahead and accept the above terms and click the Connect tab. So, the first thing it says is that you must get the uh, NCSoft launcher. Uh, basically, you're going to go ahead and follow that link, and you'll click the Download Now button, and it'll pull up the NCSoft Launcher. Go ahead and download that file, and it'll just pop up. Depending on your connection speed, obviously, it'll take a little while or not very long at all. Uh, while it's downloading, I recommend you go ahead and go to the forums and create a username. Uh, if you go into register, you can agree to these terms and you can put in your username. It's pretty standard. Uh, you'll have to put in the the uh, confirmation code at the bottom and you should be good to go. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and install the NCSoft Launcher. Just double click the file and it'll, depending on what operating system you have, either it'll automatically install or you'll have to continue and go through the process of installing it. Once it's done, uh, you can go ahead. I've got a repair since I've already got it installed, but it will give you the option for the install. Uh, go ahead and next through it until it's finished. Uh, once that is done, go ahead and navigate to NCSoft. If you chose to put a shortcut, there will be a shortcut on your desktop. Otherwise, you can go to the local disk C and uh, program files, and it'll be under NCSoft. If you go to the NCSoft folder, and launcher it is NC launcher go ahead and run that uh, depending on once again what operating system you have it may pop up with a little window saying uh, do you allow control uh, in order for it to uh, to update the game or do any of the functions uh, most since mine's already updated it won't pop it up but most likely it's going to need it uh, if this is your first time playing Aeon or using Aeon in any way, uh, it'll be under Not Installed. You're just going to have to right click and go to Install Game. Um, mine's already in the installed. Once it's done, go ahead and uh, right click and you'll want to make sure to do an update if it is not updated already or a repair if uh, you have an old version. That being said, you will also want to make sure that your properties, it is showing your install location. Uh, you'll have to navigate to the Aeon bin, uh, or the Aeon directory, and that install location needs to be there. That being said, if you, uh, once it's updated, what you want to do, go back to the Infinite Aeon site. and back to the connect page. You'll need this IP patch. If you just click the link, it'll pull up to the page and it's the top one. Go ahead, or actually I, I rephrase that, it's the second one. Uh, go ahead and copy that, or download it, and save it. While you're there, I would go ahead and recommend just do these both at the same time. Go ahead and download the launcher um, while you're all in one window. Uh, it'll save you time. Uh, once you've done that, this no IP restrict, once you open it up, you're going to have to put this in your Aeon bin directory. So you'll navigate to where you installed Aeon. Typically it's C program files Aeon, but uh, mine happens to be in the D drive. So you'll navigate to your bin32 directory and go ahead and copy this file over. Uh, this is going to save you uh, basically a lot of issues with uh, logging on to the server. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up the launcher and you're going to want to move this launcher into your Aeon directory. Just drag and drop it in there and you'll want to make a shortcut to it for your desktop uh, or wherever you want to navigate it to it from. Uh, make sure if you have an older version of Aeon, if you're running the our Infinite Aeon, if you're uh, running the old launcher, you're going to need to delete that launcher file in order to be able to play. 
Uh, once that's done, go ahead and run the launcher. You can click Options. Make sure that this is your Aeon location. Uh, I also recommend setting the CPU priority to high. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and save and you can launch the game. Here you're going to log in with your forum ID and password, uh, the same one you created at the beginning of this video. Uh, once you've logged in with that, you'll go ahead and accept the license agreement. Uh, pick your server and go ahead and click play. Uh, if you have any more issues or run into any problems, I recommend visiting the forums at infiniteaon.com. Uh, this is Trainee Ignoramus, and uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you.